Hey guys, it's AG from Techbox Community back again with another video and this time we're going to review. Well, we do reviews all the time over here in Techbox Community. But th those reviews are for phones. I'm doing the S7 Edge now. There's a series on it. Go check it out. Lots are coming up. Comparisons, unboxings, reviews. Lots. But for this one, it's not a phone that we're going to review. It's an app. It's a launcher. It's a lock screen, whatever you like to call it. You fancy, you call it. What the company that's made it calls it is the Good Lock UI. Samsung's the company that's made it. It was first supposed to be the new good update, which they were supposed to release for the S7 and the S7 Edge. We thought it will debut with the Note 7, but it didn't. To hell with the debut. The Note 7 is dead. Anyway, the S7 Edge is still here, so we can review it. I have liked it for a couple of reasons, I haven't liked it for a few reasons. We're going to talk about that shortly in this video. Hope you stay with us in the end. It's going to be a short video. Because I know you need to go click out of AG's channel and watch other videos, mainly of cats and dogs fighting. Still, be with us. So without further ado guys, let's get into the review. Get it? Do you review? Do you review? Ah, anyway. So what the Good Lock app mainly does guys is change the wallpaper completely. It revamps it. It gives you this dock over here at the bottom. You can swipe the dock up to reveal more apps. You can add more apps if you want over here. I don't want to add them. You can set a maximum of 20 apps over here in the dock. From the dock itself you can swipe up apps to reveal them, to open them up. Also in the lock screen you get this clock widget. We can change them. I'll get into the settings a little later. Swiping down from the lock screen, you get this widgets panel. You can use your fingerprints also. Getting in the phone. The home screen, it's not changed at all. So what does that state? It's not a launcher. It's just changing the lock screen. No, that doesn't tell the story completely. The notification bar, it's completely revamped. It's changed. It has more of a stock kind of a look. The top portion reveals the um, date, time, settings and some battery info and the network information then you have the search bar and your quick toggles now, now these quick toggles are scrollable you get all your quick toggles that you would have got on a Samsung device by the scroll for the notifications you get all jabs all and keep now when a notification comes it'll be over here in all but if you swipe it to the uh, right it'll go into keep and keep I have three of my notifications. You can swipe it left to dismiss it or clear it. But now, if you hold the notification long enough, it will bring you to this menu. You can set the alarm and the notification will notify you again after 30 minutes, 10 minutes or an hour, whatever you prefer. You can go into app info by clicking on this eye or you can set a category, whatever you like to call it. Now, app set in this category will not be displayed in notifications. It will displayed as it will be displayed as a category itself. Swiping again on the notification tray will, will give you these quick toggles. You get the um, brightness bar, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the sound, the do not disturb, and a few more. It's a lot like stock Android. What does it look? What does stock Android has to offer? Over here at the top, you can see two options for settings. One is your normal settings and the other one which shows a bit of a smaller settings um, settings icon with a circular design is your good lock settings. Going into the good lock settings, you'll be uh, given these options. You have routine, lock screen, advanced, backup and restore, feedback and uninstall. Going to routines, by default you have just one routine that is the default routine. You can change the clock styles from the lock screen from, the, from here. Swipe up swipe down you can add your widget instead of a clock also click on next then you can select your color Samsung has given you a lot of options for colors you can add custom colors if you want I'll just go for basic a color click on next and then you can add widgets on as I've shown you on the lock screen the widget section these widgets will directly be placed in that widget section you can edit the widgets click over here on add and all your widgets will be displayed you can add more routines, create routine and it'll like college, home, whatever you like. 
can create routines on the lock screen going to lock screen you get a number of options go check them out for yourself advanced also gives you a lot of options you can change the quick settings order from here holding one and pressing it on somewhere else will change the quick toggle positions you can redefine the status bar as you like and a few more options have been given I'll be leaving the download link in the description below go download it and check it out for yourself it's a good app it does a pretty good job at what it says changing the lock screen pretty smooth now about the lock screen only the camera app can be opened without giving the fingerprint or the password as you would expect or you can use the double tap gesture also whatever you like so what's more that has changed with the good lock UI is the recent apps area so clicking on the recent app keys will be taken to this sort of arrangement it shows a list of apps instead of card like interf interface that is presently available on the stock Android or any other versions of it so we have a list of apps with three options if your app is multi window capable it will have this two boxes the pin or the pin app option and the close app option so if you want to close it you can either swipe it or please press the cross button pin app and multi window as you know you can use the multi window from here directly also we have the remove app remove all apps options option along with we have this dock, ever present dock over here swapping it up gives you all the apps that are present in your dock you can have 20 apps that I have already mentioned and from here also you can use this um, multi window thing multi window format also pressing and holding on an app will give you this pop up view that said what has changed in the recent app area anyway that's it for the good luck UI hope you've liked my video if you have thumbs up to the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't liked the video give it a thumbs down and tell in the comments that why haven't you liked it I'll appreciate your suggestions and try to better my videos from next time onwards thank you guys ciao